Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Iowa caucuses are a mere two weeks away, and there was a huge development yesterday because Donald Trump received a critical endorsement from former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin. So great to be in Iowa. We're here just thawing out. Are you ready to make America great again? You ready for a commander in chief who will let our warriors do their job and go kick ISIS ass? <laughs> I mean, you, you just know that John McCain is on his couch at home watching the TV like, Donald, dude, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Trust me. But, the, I mean, this whole speech was particularly confusing. Take a look at this. Looking around at all of you, you hard-working Iowa families, you farm families, and teachers, and teamsters, and cops, and cooks, you rock and rollers. <laughs> She sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> if Dr. Seuss wanted to deport all of the sneetches and woozles. <laughs> at one point, Palin tells the audience that she knows they're putting their reputations at risk by supporting Donald Trump. I'm... So, what kind of reputations do they have? <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of them are like, I just came out to see people from the TV. <laughs> Like, you know, you just know that there was one guy there who was like, wow, the guy from The Apprentice and Tina Fey. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. You're filming. But, um, you want to watch how Sarah Palin ended her speech? No more pussyfooting around. <laughs> no more pussyfooting around. I got to say, I was so relieved to hear her add the words footing around. <laughs> I got very worried for a second about her new policy proposal. <laughs> uh, but one person who's not getting such a ringing endorsement is Ted Cruz, whose old college roommate, Craig Mazin, has taken to Twitter to inform the world that Ted Cruz is the worst. Right now, Craig Mazin wrote the movies The Hangover 2 and 3. And if there's anyone on Earth who can identify something as the worst, it's the guy who wrote The Hangover 3. <laughs> We can all agree on that, but his tweets are pretty enlightening when it comes to Ted Cruz. So let's take a look. This is one of his tweets. Uh, tweets. He put, as a freshman, I would get into senior parties because I was Ted's roommate out of pity. <laughs> he was that widely loathed, it's his superpower. <laughs> now, look, everybody has a roommate that they hated, but now imagine if one day you woke up and that roommate was running for president. It would be horrifying. <laughs> But you just want to turn up to every press conference and stand at the back and be going, why don't you tell them what you did to my pretzels, Ted? <laughs> yeah, you remember? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to shut up. You tell them about the pretzels, Ted. <laughs> no one eats pretzels like that, Ted. <laughs> We're saying you had sex with pretzels. <laughs> um... It's a joke. It's not true. He didn't really. But tweeting these Ted Cruz anecdotes has done wonders for Craig Mazin, who's apparently gained quite a following. Uh, he's, he said on a tweet, he put, I have 30,000 followers now, and all I had to do was be stuck in a room with Ted Cruz for a year. I'm sure you're all nice, but so not worth it. <laughs> I mean, this guy did not like Ted Cruz, but Ted has had a rough week. He didn't get his old friend Sarah Palin's endorsement. He's getting roasted on Twitter. I mean, you could almost feel bad for the guy. And then you watch this and you get over it pretty quick. Machine gun bacon. <laughs> 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 